Yo, 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 what up, family? It's your man, Short T, and I'm here with Taking No Shorts with Short T. I'm so excited about the message this week. I thank God for trouble. I thank God for trouble. Sounds like an oxymoron, but you'll understand here in a few minutes. I was on a webinar last night and the gentleman continuously talked about your commitment and they talked about you being involved and talking about where you're at in your speaking career. And they were just encouraging each and every one of us on the webinar of when to make decisions and when to know that you're in trouble. The great John, late great John Lewis said, get into good trouble, meaning get into where you're making a difference. And when I was reading in the book of James, you will find in the first chapter, you will find a passage of scripture that addresses that. Actually, verse 2 through 5 addresses getting into some good trouble. But I want you to understand why I'm thanking God for trouble. Because there are five things I realize trouble brings. And I had to hit you with these five things that you'll find in the scripture that trouble brings. Number one, you will find trouble will bring great joy. Trouble will bring great joy because we know that scripture teaches that, that joy comes in the morning. Joy comes in the morning. So number one, trouble brings great joy. Number two, it also builds your endurance and your faith. It builds your endurance and your faith. Because the race isn't given into the swift. It's given to the ones that endure to the end. Those are the ones that get the trophy. Those are the ones that get the medal. Number three, you, it brings forth where you need to change. Where a change must happen. So once you see everything that's falling in place, you'll find out in the midst of trouble that you will find out change happens. You can't do things the same way it was. Right now, you will say America is in trouble. The world is in trouble. But there are changes going on that gotta happen. Then number four, it brings you to a point after you get in trouble that you get to the point of that you have to ask God for wisdom. You have to talk to God. Even people that say they don't believe in God, they end up talking to God. They end up talking to what they say is the unknown. So you end up asking God, what did I do wrong? What must I do to get out of this? What is, what can be the solution? Where do I fit in? Why is this happening to me? You end up talking to God. And then out of talking to God, number five, you get results. Because it says in the scripture that you ask for the wisdom and then all that other stuff you've been asking for, he will give it to you. Wow. He will give it to you. Because you have endured. That's the reason in the scriptures it teaches us in Matthew 6, 33, it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things. It didn't say some of them. All of these things will be added unto you. It didn't say to seek money. It didn't say to seek an investment. It didn't say to seek you another job. It says seek God. Because we can get chasing the wrong thing and we can get into the trouble that we don't want to get into. But when we're getting in, so when we're getting into the good trouble, we see some great things that happen. I'll leave you with this. Trouble is nothing but the opportunity for God to be glorified. Trouble is nothing but the opportunity for God to be glorified. So I thank God for trouble because he gets glorified as I come out of it. He gets glorified in the midst of it. He gets glorified in the beginning. He gets glorified all the way through it. And then when people ask, what did you do? You can say, 
man, I gave it all to the Lord. I gave it all to God. And once I gave it to him, he brought me out. He brought me to a brighter day. He brought me to a, a better place. That's what happens. So thank God for trouble. Ah, I'm short T. I'm a champion. I'm changing lives and I'm building champions. And we are T in essence together, family. And that stands for taking no shorts. It's not hump day. It's a great day. And everything that we're going through, thank God for it and continue to keep God in the midst of it because this too shall pass. I'll see y'all on next week and I love all y'all. Peace.